Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to demonstrate how we can tune the case uh, for load analysis using Python. So let's take forward the example which we have dis discussed in our previous session. So we have this five bus uh, case system here. Uh, if you see in this case, uh, the voltages on the buses are on the lower side, especially bus number five. Here the voltages are only 93% or 0.93 per unit. Uh, whereas you see the voltages at the generator buses, so they still have some margin available. So what we can do here is that we can increase the voltages, schedule voltages of these generators in order to increase the overall voltages of the um, system, right? So how we are going to achieve it? We are going to achieve it with the help of a code uh, which will perform this task for us. So. Let's discuss the pseudo code or the uh, methodology we will be using. And then we are going to convert this methodology into a uh, Python program. So what do we basically need to do is we need to check the voltages at each and every bus. So we have five buses here. You can have a 20 bus system, 50 bus system, 100 bus system. Uh, the methodology will remain the same. So basically what we need to do is we need to check the voltages at each and every bus in the system. And then we need to make sure we need to check. We need to compare these voltages against our criteria. So let's say if our criteria says that our voltages should be between plus minus 5%. So we'll uh, monitor the voltage at each bus and then compare against this criteria. So if this criteria is met, everything is fine. But if this criteria is not met, uh, the voltages are beyond plus minus 5% on any bus, then what we need to do is we need to change the schedule voltage of the generator. So we are going to play with the generator voltage. Uh, we are going to use uh, here uh, Monte Carlo technique where we are going to check various combinations of uh, voltages on the three generators. And then uh, we are going to change the voltages. We are going to save the case and then recheck the voltages. And we are going to continue this process until the voltages become comes within this range of plus minus five percent so as soon as the voltages come within this range what we need to do is we need to break from the loop uh, which we were repeating and then save these uh, uh, schedule voltages save the program or save the base case or the tuned base case and then end the program let us go to python now so what we have done is uh, we have uh, done the same thing which we did in the previous uh, session that we recorded some basic commands which we are going to require for this uh, for developing this particular script. So what we have done is since we will be changing the generator schedule voltage. So I uh, we have recorded uh, uh, we have changed basically that we opened the case and within the case we uh, change the schedule voltage and recorded uh, the script uh, for changing the schedule voltage and uh, running the load flow analysis. So once this is recorded and these are the two commands which are needed for that particular purpose for changing the schedule voltage of a generator and then uh, running the uh, load flow analysis. So now what we are going to do is we are going to build our program around this using the methodology or the pseudo code we discussed. So the first thing we need to do is we need to import PSSC. So for that purpose, this time I'm using PSSC 35. So uh, for PSSC 35, all you need to do is you, uh, you do not need to uh, give the path individually and everything. It is going to be taken care of automatically. All you have to do is write import PSSC 35 and that's it. So we write this, then we import PSSPY and then since we are going to randomly change the generator voltages using uh, this uh, like Monte Carlo technique so what we are going to do is we are going to use library known as random so now let's open the PSSC program so PSSPY dot PSSE INIT and this is going to initialize our PSSC once PSSC is initialized, if you see here, uh, we see two things, underscore I and underscore F. So because these are the default values, so we need to tell PSSC that please consider them as default values. For that purpose, 
underscore i is equal to tss py dot get default in the same way let's do for float let's copy this Once we are done with this, and then we need to give the file name which we need to consider. So SAV file is equal to whatever the file name is for us. In this case, it's test file plus underscore system dot SAV. So this is the file. We have defined the file. And then we need to write a program. First of all, uh, we need bus numbers. Uh, so that we can monitor the voltage at each bus so for that purpose let's get all the bus numbers bus numbers and we will be changing the generator terminal voltages that's why we need the bus numbers for generator as well so numbers. once we are done with this then we need to store these voltages somewhere so let's use per unit voltages and empty array because I will be iterating through the uh, each bus and then uh, saving the uh, each uh, the voltage at each bus that's why I need an empty array so let's use for bus in bus now so let's iterate through each and every bus and what we are going to do is we need per unit voltages which will be get by this stat and what do we need here we need the bus number and the quantity we want so here we need per unit so once we have this per unit the next thing we need to do is we need to save this in our list so once we are done with this next thing is we need to make sure that these voltages are uh, within the range or not so for that purpose let's first check them so we say that the maximum of so we are basically trying to see all the voltages if the maximum of within the list is greater than 1.05 or minimum within the voltages list is less than 95% so if any of this condition is met let's print that uh, what we can write here let's think we can write this it's just a uh, message which is going to be otherwise if the voltages are within the limit then we can write so let's exit the program if we achieve this so this is for exit let's use while statement for this so uh, i'm going to get a part of code from here so i'm basically i'm saying if my voltages are beyond this limit then what we need to do is 
we need to first of all again so let me just go through it quickly so here yeah, we need this and then we need to see what kind of voltages we have uh, we need to store the schedule voltages as well so let's create another empty list for schedule voltages and then now let's because it's already from here we figured out that we have voltage violation problem so the first thing we need to do is we need to iterate through each generator and assign it a different uh, value of the schedule voltage so how we can do this for gen n gen bus this is how it is and then within gen bus what we need to do is we need a new v schedule voltages and basically from where we are going to get it we are going to get a random value between 0.95 and 1.05 so we are going to continue to iterate until we find a, a good value uh, which does not lead to any problem right so we have the schedule we get the v schedule here and now we can use this part so and similarly we'll be using this part as well so now here within let's iterate through each generator and instead of fixed value we have PSCH so we solve the case and once the case is solved the next thing we need to do is we need to store these values uh, the generator value for each case so gen underscore PSCH and please for each generator save the value so, which is equal to BSCH. Once this is done, the next thing we need to do is again we need to check the voltages, right? So, here we go. To see the result, let's use this print command to print gen1. So, let's print the V schedule voltages as well. So, here we can use gen underscore v s c h and this is for generator one let's copy this code and reuse it for generator two generator three three and let's new sav case let this case be equal to this case but this time since it's a tuned case so let's save it with a different name and once we come out of this program and we have the schedule voltages all sorted out what we can do is we can write so this way our program is written so now all we need to do is we need to run this program to see if it works perfectly and it gives us good results or not. So let us run this program to see if we end up with any error or are we able to save the case. So we end up with an error. So let's try to figure out what the error are and let's try to resolve those errors. Uh, we forgot to open the case so without opening the case how are we going to get the values so let's uh, open the case pss py dot case as long we need to have a case open before so uh, hopefully this is going to resolve the problem and let's solve the case up with an other error so let's see what is the error yes we did not right append with it so hence the error let's resolve this error let's solve again okay yeah because it should be two so let's solve again and see now it's all good we have the value so if we use these values we are going to able to and if you want to see the voltages we can see the voltages as well so if i go to ini underscore pu 
so if I print this one see all my voltages are between the range of 1.05 to 0.95